everybody, Happy New Year. I hope you had an excellent holiday season and New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And I bet you guys are really motivated to reach some goals and stick with your New Year's resolutions. So I have some tips and tricks for you on how to do that and how to make sure that you stick with these all year long without fail. So the first thing I wanna say is really narrow down what you want from your resolution. A lot of us make resolutions that can be very broad, like I'm going to be healthier, I'm going to be more organized, I'm going to do this, do that. So say your resolution was to be more organized. Well, then your real goal could start off small, like I'm going to spend 15 minutes at the end of each night tidying up my house and getting it ready for the next day. Or if your goal is to be more healthy, you could say, I'm going to walk on my lunch break, or I'm going to pack my lunch instead of buy my lunch at work or school, things like that. And once you have narrowed it down a little more, make sure that it's something that's going to be fun for you. And you might be thinking, okay, well, I want to eat healthy, but I don't even like eating healthy. Where's the fun in that? find some recipes, check out my site, fitstyle.com, for some healthy recipes that are quick and easy, and you can have a lot of fun with it and make healthy eating something that you really enjoy, for example. Another thing is you want to write down what you're doing. Say your resolution is to be happier. Well, that could mean a lot of different things to get to that goal. So how about instead of just saying, I'm going to be happier, you could say, I'm gonna put on my favorite song, whenever I need a dose of cheer and you can just dance around your room or listen to it in your car or whatever. So next you're going to write down your resolution and you're going to put it somewhere where you can see it every day. This could be your mirror, your fridge, your desk at work, your desk at school, the dashboard of your car, somewhere where you're going to see it all the time. Maybe even your computer screensaver. And the last thing with a uh, planning and preparing all this resolution so that you can get into putting it into practice would be to plan and prepare. So this helps especially for meal planning and fitness planning. You can plan out your workout for the entire week. Uh, every day you'll do something different and this will help you from keeping your or from getting bored too with both your meals and your exercises. So it will also spend or save you a lot of time and a lot of money because there can just be one day that you go to the grocery store instead of making several trips throughout the week and if you just devote one night like Sunday night to chopping up vegetables so that they're readily available for you to snack on during the week that's going to help a ton because we're less likely to stick to something if it's hard and if it's not convenient we just technically I don't know we just don't normally do it so a lot of people are going to look in their fridge and say, oh, that's great, but it's that bell pepper isn't cut up, so I'm probably just going to skip it and go for something else. If you have it cut up, it's a lot easy, easier. You don't have a lot of excuses not to eat the healthy snacks. So that's one example for that. Another thing is to don't use the word perfect in your resolution. Uh, perfect can be a dangerous word for setting goals and resolutions because no one's perfect. So we don't want to set something that's unattainable. That's not the point here. We want to set something that we can stick to and maintain for a long, long time. Another thing is to try giving up a resolution that maybe you've already failed at. So a lot of people want to lose weight very quickly and that's not healthy or safe or sometimes even possible. So start small with any goal you have to really make sure that you start on the right foot and small changes can make huge strides in the long run and it takes a few weeks or about a month to make an action into a habit anyway so you want to start small so that you can maintain it for a long time another thing is to use accountability this could be a checklist that you have, say you wanted to eat a certain amount of vegetables that day, you can have that already written down because you're planning and preparing and cross those off a list or mark them on a chart to see if you're really going ahead and meeting this goal that you want. Or you can enlist one of your friends to be an accountability partner and things like that. You can use me, you can tweet me all the time, tell me your goal, keep tweeting at me and then I'll See if you're doing it or not, and if you have someone you can be accountable to, it can really help you with your goal. Another thing, don't give up. 
because there are 365 days in a year. If you slip up on whatever your goal is, you can get back to it tomorrow. It's really not the end of the world. You will be okay. And with food, especially say you eat three meals a day. Well, that's 21 chances a week to eat something healthy. So if your goal is to eat better, you have 21 chances a week with three meals a day to make sure that you are making healthy choices. And in a year, that adds up to over a thousand chances to eat something healthy. And I think that's a great thing to keep in mind when you are trying to eat healthy as your goal. So there are a lot of ways that you can keep your goals, but start small, make it specific, keep at it every day, make sure that your goals are visible to you so that you can constantly see them and assess if you are on the right path to reaching them. Use your friends to help you, use me to help you. Tweet me, Fit Styled, and I will help you out. Check out my website for easy recipes <laughs> and keep at those resolutions and goals. Keep me updated and I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys have a motivated and successful year and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.